Hey guys, how's it going today? It's your boy BK Mutt coming at you with a best players video, and this is best players at the cornerback position. And we're going to be comparing everybody on this list to my opinion of the best cornerback in this game. And the opinions vary on who people believe is the best corner. Because some people play man, some people play zone. But speed always counts. Speed is always king in this game when it comes to corners. When it comes to anything really, speed is always king. Um, man is broken right now. Man is really... We, we're slowly developing more ways to beat man and force people to go back to zone. I know I've, I've found ways to force players to play zone against me because uh, man is beatable and I'm going to release a video on that soon here just to give you guys a better idea of how to how to sh just shred man when people run it on you because cover one robber is something I've been seeing a lot of. But anyway, we're going to go over corners and I'm going to start with, I guess arguably could be the best corner and the easiest one to obtain you won't have him at the highest level because you would obtain him through his power up and you'd level him up to training i think you can get him up to an 89 overall with training and that's Deion sanders and Deion sanders is a very good card right but we're going to compare him to the best cornerback that i have and the best cornerback that i think is in this game and that's namadi Asimo. their speed is right there very close very close in speed and acceleration um I do have Sprinter on Nomadi. I, I have a lot of boosts on Nomadi with my team cam and everything. But, or speed, they're not too far apart. And height, Nomadi has them. I love height. Height's a huge factor when it comes to corners, ex especially when Jimmy Graham's out there and um, Tyron Calico's out there. And Randy Moss is coming. Don't kid yourself. Randy Moss is coming. OBJ just got a huge card. I know OBJ doesn't hit six foot. But he just got a huge card, so it helps to have height out there. With this speed, and then we're going to look at man coverage here. 92 overall man coverage for Nomadi. And this is where Dion beats Nomadi on a lot of people's teams, right? Because Dion is exceptional at corner, or he's exceptional at zone, and he's exceptional at man, and he's got that elite speed. Dion Sanders is, in my opinion, the best corner in this game if you're not building a theme team or if you are building a theme team and he he fits on that theme team but he does not fit on the eagles theme team so my best corner is nomadi and nomadi kills it at man so he nomadi's the best man coverage corner in this game him and denzel ward are right there tops right those are the two corners if you're playing man you need those corners on your team Dion sanders is all around the best corner in the game but nomadi has it for me because I'm, I, bet I have an Eagles team, right? And they did wonders for the corners this year on the Eagles. After Deion Sanders, again, I've already said it, Denzel Ward, there's a reason this card's still a million coins, and that is because he's a monster, right? He is a little short, but 92 speed, 92 acceleration, his man coverage does not match Nomadi. Same with his play rec or his jump, right? Nomadi's got him here, and as he should. One to 92, one to 90. Zone coverage is the same. I put Nomadi, like I said against Dion, Nomadi is the best man corner in this game. Nomadi is the best man coverage corner in this game, and Denzel Ward is right there behind him. The next corner, we could talk about all these guys, right? We could talk about everybody here in the 90s because they're they're 90s, right? Like, But when I look... At my corners which Byron Jones again great because he's got all that speed but he doesn't even hit the 90 threshold for zone you can get him up there yes but he he doesn't excel anywhere other than speed so if you really worked on this card and boosted him up and let's not forget if you're Dallas Deion Sanders Byron Jones one two punch across the board you got an elite set of corners but Byron Jones is slightly down the list for me he's a great corner don't knock him if you have him use what you got right Cortland oh my god this guy is absolutely a beast physically that is like 
he beats people up. It, well, he did in real life. But five foot ten, very small. He's gonna get beat over the top. Speed, nothing to be desired. And his zone and his man are weak. So that's why he is not on my top list. We're gonna leave the 90s now at Deion Sanders, Nobody Osimo, and Denzel Ward are your top three right now. We're going down to the 89s because we're spending a lot of time in the high dollar bracket. And people don't spend, like some people don't have the coins to spend on the top three. So what we're going to do is we're going to come sliding. They go so fast, don't they? We're going to come sliding in here and we're going to show you a mid-range card for, for price-wise. But he is a top performer on the field. Comes in with some height. Comes in with some great speed that you can boost up with Sprinter. Man coverage is there, right? You can you can get it up a little bit. Zone, again, zone isn't quite there. But if you're playing man, this is a good budget beater for you to have on your team. He does have a couple of theme teams. I know he's played on the Rams, the Chiefs. He's, he's got a couple of theme teams he's played on. So there's, there's possibilities to boost him through team chemistries. This card is a very good card. I would put him up there in the category of top corners and definitely in the category of top man coverage corners in this game. After that, we I'm going to I'm going to take you to two budget budget beater corners in this game that that are extremely cheap and extremely fast. And we're going to start here. We don't need to compare him to what we've got. And we're going to start here with Trey Wayne's. And you're going to notice here his speed is identical to nominees, right? Like that's great. To, to find an 84 card with that kind of speed and acceleration is clutch, right? The only thing you're gonna have to, the only thing you're gonna have to work on through your chemistries is man and zone. Get that up. You gotta get that up. At least get it up to 80. But if you need a budget beater, there he is. The foundation with the speed is there. You can work with that. They have chemistries in this game for that reason. Building a Bengals theme team, even better, but you can work on that. Lockdown um, is is a great opportunity. Go get John Madden. I know that is a sour taste with people, but go get John Madden and get those times chems if you're not using a theme team. So Trey Waynes, excellent speed, 20 grand, 20 grand, 20 grand. And then... AJ Terrell, you know, the man that lost in the uh, Derwin James versus the world when he played uh, Henry Ruggs. Henry Ruggs is on a tear, but talking about speed and height, right? 90 speed, 89 acceleration, 6 foot 1. I would put AJ Terrell a little bit above Trey Waynes, but he is a great budget corner at 20K, right? Like, you could really build a solid corner squad, and he's at 80 zone, so you only have to work on the man, or you can get the zone up a little more, but you really only have to work on the man and maybe the play wreck a little bit, but this card has an unbelievably good foundation. Unbelievably good foundation. And he would definitely be pushing at one of the best corners in the game at 20,000 coins, right? You could match anybody's speed with this card here. And for one last good budget beater here, we got old Jimmy Boy, corner, Washington. And they did this card a good service. 91 acceleration, 90 speed. I know he's 5'10", and I'm not a huge fan of that. I am not a huge fan of short corners. But 80 man coverage, right? 80 play rec. This card has an unbelievable foundation. You just get that zone up a little bit, which isn't hard with lockdown. But you get that zone up a little bit, and this card will play unbelievable for you on the field. But guys, that's going to be my top corners in this game, and a little bit of information on all of them, on whether you would use them for zone or man. And uh, I really, truly believe that if you don't have the coins to get Deion Sanders, Denzel Ward, Namadi Osimo, all three of them, or just one of them, if you don't have the coins to get those cards, then that's when you start looking at your AJ Terrells, your Marcus Peters, your Jimmy Moreland, and your uh, Trey Wayne. Those guys are all 
incredibly good. Like, you don't even need to go get Marcus Peters if you're tight because you can get A.J. Terrell, Trey Waynes, and Jimmy Moreland for under 100 k for all three of them and have your cornerback position set until you can improve your bankroll and, and, and upgrade the position. But at the same time, I would very much recommend going out and getting Deion Sanders' power-up card through the solos for free. You don't have to spend any coins on it. And then you can go power him up. And I've done training videos on how to get training, how to use training, how to do it cheap. You can get that Deion Sanders up to an 89 overall for less than 70k. Just go check out that video. And you can have a stud, speedy corner with great zone and great man out there just shredding up the field for you. This is BK Muck, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you you can just hit that like button, the subscribe button, notification bell. It really would help me out. I'm just trying to get uh, my thoughts out to the community here. And uh, really try to improve everyone's team. Don't forget to comment down below. Every comment I do read and I do look deeply into it. And I try to help out as best as I can. And I'll hit stick you guys later.